of the fondest memories of my childhood was growing up on top of the hill, just above the most beautiful valley and overlooking another hill. Down at the bottom was a small river, not much bigger than a large creek. I always wanted to be able to sing, but I never mastered it. And because of that, I thought I'd try something else. But I did learn how to whistle. And I thought I was pretty good at it. I can remember on weekends and of evenings during the summertime. I'd stand there on that hill and I'd whistle and I'd listen for that echo. I practiced as much as I could. I thought I was pretty good. Not as pretty as the birds, but I thought I was pretty good. I remember my mother was always concerned that I'd stay out after dark, or I'd come home late and miss dinner. But I'd always promise her, I'll be back. I'll always be back in plenty of time. And she trusted me. It was a simple life back then. At the local school, not much bigger than a one-room schoolhouse, I met a girl, big brown eyes, dark brown hair, biggest smile on any girl's face I ever saw. She was so beautiful. She lived on the other side of the hill. I taught her how to whistle. And I'd swear that some of those echoes that I thought were mine was her whistling back at me. We often practiced in the schoolyard. We got to be pretty good at it. We were just the best of friends. They say that the best things in life are free. And I have to agree with that. Friendship doesn't cost anything. To be able to use your senses, to be able to whistle, that's all free. This takes a little bit of practice. Storytelling, memories, that's all free. Find a good valley, learn how to whistle, make sounds, get your investment back, that's cheap. <laughs>